Yeah. I'm Beverly Hill with the Gendercide Awareness Project, and I am talking to artist Johannes Buchhout. Uh, Johannes was born in the Dutch Caribbean, later moved to Costa Rica, and then uh, moved to the United States from there, back to Costa Rica, back to the United States. But he's been in Dallas for how many years now? Four years. Four years. Johannes has a very distinctive style and a very distinctive approach to making his art. Yes, um, thank you for having me. It's called Scape of Lana. The Scape of Lana uh, means that the uh, film and uh, she's running and for looking for her freedomness and um, we, as a, a spectator, we need to stop this because it happened and happened and happened again. So uh, we need to just unplug the thing and stop the film. We don't want this to repeat anymore. So um, I choose uh, a little girl, Lana, that she's really... Uh, looks for freedom and uh, you can see her dress is blowing with the wind and uh, creating that necessity and that uh, hungriness for freedom liberty you know so um, that is all about that's why it's, it's white uh, in the background uh, that represent the pureness of her and uh, the dark side that surrounding her situation as a film. And uh, the reds represent, obviously, the blood that is all behind this atrocity. But uh, uh, we hope that, I hope that Lana can continue and all Lanas can continue to run for their freedom is, but I really want them to stop and to, uh, uh, I don't want this to, to see it again, I don't want to see it again. Yeah. And I choose, I'm sorry, I choose Lana, uh, their name is in Swahili, is in uh, uh, Beautiful Flowers. So, <laughs> so appropriate. Yeah. Now, I see the cross motif and that's not just a symbol for you, it's actually it's also a means of constructing a painting. Could you say a word about that? Yes, um, my work, um, I've been um, painting through crosses uh, because that's the way I say thank you to my personal Jesus for my gift in my hand. Um, a gift that I have been regret for years and years until I noticed that I was born as an artist. So I have to, to say thank you. And the only way to say thank you, it was about uh, doing everything in crosses. You also mentioned that when you work, um, you internalize the subject. Could you say a, a bit about your need for long periods of time alone, long periods in the studio, the emotional process that occurs? Yes. Uh, People, uh, usually I'm showing through museums to, uh, to allow everybody to come to the museum and not only enjoy, but learn about my paintings and the thematic. Being here in the studio for two, three months, working and not going anywhere, and involving a lot of a lot of things. One of the biggest thing is to uh, I have to be connect and be part of the painting and the thematic that I'm dealing with. Also, um, doing that, I coming into uh, let's say uh, uh, auto uh, dramatic uh, depression. So I can sense and feel much better each painting that I put on the canvas. So um, doing this, I'm crying and you name it. But that's the only way 
I can I can perform what I do and give the audience the premium product after all. So for me, um, being here and no connect with other people outside and it's it's very it's very clean. So um, have this product done and then show it outside to the museums and to the, all the, the, the audience for me is very important because I don't want to uh, just uh, show a painting. The painting he has to talk about something. It's always about uh, start to changing somebody. So for me, my goal is to uh, reunite all people coming to see the painting and maybe if we can change just one people, one person. You do not deal with light themes. Uh, here in the studio, uh, we've seen paintings about homelessness, about refugees, about children in Syria, uh, about female genital, genital mutilation. These are really tough, tough themes. Uh, there's not always a ready audience for that kind of art. It's not decorative. It's very meaningful. Uh, can you say a word about that? Yes. Uh, the, what I'm doing is to express on the canvas all social matters and issues that are affecting us in this era that we're living in right now. And I'm documenting them on the canvas. Uh, the thematic is priority because we have a lot of social problems. So one by one, I, I address them. And for example, the poverty, I, uh, uh, I uh, um, express it the way that it's not, it's not a, 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 let's say, a, a painting that is going to be discussed. No, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, a nice treatment of a bad situation, you know? So for the mutilation, genital mutilation, I treat the little girl the nicest way, but it's an ugly situation. And uh, for the Syrian people, for example, what happens going on right now in Aleppo, um, inspire me for, uh, for express in each painting that uh, concern about this thematic, not in the to spray, not to, uh, um, to uh, provoke violence, but try to provoke comprehension mm -hmm. to the audience. Mm -hmm. To maybe ex exchange positive thinkingness that maybe somebody can come with solutions that can help us to develop a better world that we live in right now because I'm very worried about what kind of, uh, of uh, heritage or a legacy we're going to leave behind for our kids, new generation of this work. So that's all about. This concern for these serious social problems uh, in part emanated from your personal experience. Is that right? And are you comfortable talking about that? Well, yes. I'm, I've been mentioning uh, very a lot, a lot of time about the uh, domestic violence, and uh, uh, but you know uh, the domestic violence. Um, um, it happens every every cultural uh, all countries. That's not domestic violence doesn't recognize religion or uh, culture or any barriers. <laughs> it's going on and on and on and on and on, but. Uh, um, the domestic, being part of the domestic violence, actually after the years I learned that um, actually I was, uh, after all, I learned a lot and give me this powerful uh, tool to express it and try to um, convince uh, both parties, men and women, that is not the way to go. And um, for example, 10 years ago, I had an uh, exhibition in San Salvador. And uh, uh, 
a lady, it was the exhibition is called Woman or Object. That was the title. And the lady came in during the exhibition and started crying and tell me that she's going to go to the police department and uh, uh, denounce his husband, her husband. And uh, she said, thank you very much because tonight I saw the light mm -hmm. in the darkness. So since that day, I felt like, wow, this is a huge responsibility. Art changing people, you know, and let's do it you know, in the positive way. So I take all the bad experiences that I had and try to convert them in positive. So uh, I protect, well, I'm trying to, to, to raise my voice to the canvas protecting uh, women and children, most of them children, um, um, the social justice, uh, human rights, uh, the free of speech for the children, and uh, you name it. So, would you speak about one of your other paintings, one that you've shown us today? Uh, you pick, and um, and um, just say a few words about it. Well, <clears throat> yes, we have. Uh, I have the the Alan Kurdi, the, the little boy that was found drowned in the coast of uh, Greek, uh, from, he's from Syria, and uh, he was from Syria, and uh, his little body, <clears throat> when they found him, um, it made me so angry that I, I have to paint it, I have to, I have to denounce this, and, and I made it, and uh, Suffering a lot to do it because I know I know I wasn't sure that if it's the right thing to do, touching this purest body and put it on the canvas, or just shut my mouth or my pencils, uh, uh, my my brushes, and, uh, and don't don't say nothing. And I wasn't sleep, <clears throat> I wasn't comfortable, no eat, I feel bad bad mood <laughs> and then I realized that I have to, I have to do it so I made it and um, the way I made it is to surround a lot of crystals because he's I understand for as a four years old his wall is crystals nice but it was broken it was his glass was broken and he being represent is representing in the canvas three other bodies that's running from away from his original body that represent his soul finally is free so it's a sad thing I want to uh, to raise my voice let people know and let people to remember because we always forget that there's a lot of atrocities going on right now. Due the interview is going on in Aleppo, for example. So um, is we don't have to wait for uh, a, a, a bigger government to make some changes. We can make some changes, raise the voice. Um, we don't have to be in Aleppo. The better way that we can help, I think, is that the assume that everything is Aleppo right now. And we are with Aleppo and the Syria refugees and help the, the kids on the streets, help the kids with education, help the parents to find a job that so they can make their kids much better, you name it. So I adopt the situation that is generally mm -hmm. affecting all the world. Right, right. right. Johannes, thank you so much for your time, for your thoughtful words, and for creating this beautiful painting thank um, you. for the Gender Side Awareness Project exhibit. You're welcome. You're welcome.